you, you touch on this just a little bit there that, that you know, this weekend uh, and the last several days have shown us almost countless examples, Neela, of, of police using, uh, in some cases, excessive force against people, in many instances, unprovoked, sometimes people who are walking away from them. Um, this is a conversation about systemic racism in policing, but it's also, uh, as you allude to, become about how much force police should be entrusted with. How do we balance that? Where do we start in having a conversation to reach a consensus about how much force police should have at their disposal? Right. I think when we militarize our police force and essentially turn them into soldiers, giving them machinery and weapons and armament that were really intended for a military, not for a community policing agency, we're already setting the police up to fail. The other problems are that police, um, and this is from my experience in Baltimore as a public defender there, um, the police force, many of them actually live outside of the communities where they were expected to police. And I think this creates this feeling of, well, I'm policing the other, and these individuals are, are not part of my community. These individuals are not like me. Um, community policing has to start from a place of trust. It has to start from a place where individuals in the community really feel like the police are trying, that they're on their side. And right now, that trust has been completely broken. And so... These abuses that we're seeing, I mean, George Floyd is just the tip of the iceberg. We know there's a very long list of individuals who have um, faced police brutality, many of whom have died at the hands of police. Neela Bala with uh, R Street, I really appreciate you being here to help us um, put this, the, the events we're seeing and the images we're watching into the context of the policy discussion we have to have to actually make some meaningful change. Um, it's important that we translate those two things. Um, Neil, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.